honor for me to be here. I am very excited. It's my first time talking with a big group of amazing people. I am um, a doctor working in Honduras. Honduras is a small country in Central America. We are just 8.5 million people. We have 85 doctors working in 95% uh, of them working in a private side. I'm 5% working in this NGO or social side. We are an NGO, and in 2008, David Brown came to me and said, Diego, you know, for the last three years, you came and helped us to train some doctors. Why we don't do some a specific training program? It's one, an hour and 50 minutes from Miami to come to San Pedro Sula. It is very easy to be there. 85% of the population speak English. My English is not good, but I will try, okay? <laughs> and uh, we start. We start to be a uh, training eye doctor. You know, it is a great experience work with residents, but it's most important and most challenging to be a training for a eye doctor, well-formed eye doctor with a lot of experience, with a high reputation. They come with us to learn a new surgical technique. I really like to teach. You know, I come from a family, from school teacher. And I believe I have some in the, in the heritage in my body that we like to teach. Second, I believe all my life I was surrounded by school teacher. My father, my aunt, my uncle, they are a school teacher. You know, in Central America, the middle class in the 60s and 50s and 60s, they, the college was the highest education. And this is the reason that all my family they are professors. Uh, one of the things that I always love of them is the respect. When you talk with, the, with their student and say, Professor, how are you? And you know, today I have the same experience came into my, to my mind when I was talking in the, in the table and somebody mentioned the doctor who trained her. And I saw this uh, happiness in her sight. And I think this is one of the, ro the reasons that I became a trainer. This is my f one of the reasons that I, I do that. But also, I believe we always, we are human. As an, a human, we like to be recognized. And the people said, I have an impact. Like the previous doctor, he said, I went to, uh, Ethiopia, I work in Nepal, and I, you can see the videos, and they are so happy. It's a positive impact in the life of those people, and the people surround that families. This is the impact to train people. Even if you train resident, if you train eye doctor, uh, and also you are a transfer of knowledge. One of my way of think is, if I train and the doctor become better than I, sooner or later, I will become all. And I will need those doctors to take care of me. What happened if I didn't a good work? See, this is the other way. I can transfer and I can reproduce the way that I learn, the way that I teach, the way, I, the, the way that I help others. And this is great for us. You know, you, when you, if someone here is a professor, you will see the, when you talk with the, your student year later after the training, they're so happy to see you. 
you if you wasn't mean because some doctors they are really mean and they push a lot of a lot of pressure. But it's in general, you have a great experience with them. And this is the, the, the for me the other element you have to take care of that. Also, I as I mentioned, we are a guy. We guide people. We teach people to be guided. And we can have a positive impact in the society and in that specific person that you are training. For me, it is a very different because 99.9% .9 of the time, I work with really skillful doctors. You know, the next month I will have uh, two doctors who visit me, and one of them, he does 1,000 cataract surgeries per year. And the other one, he said, you know, I am not a good surgeon, I just do 500. I said, wow, they are really good uh, phaco surgeon. But I just do 500 per year. I am, not, I am an average surgeon in my country. I am not uh, the most skillful surgeon. But we have an impact, we have an effect in the life of those people. Let me give you this small example, what is the way of think of to be a trainee. If we perform 500 cataracts surgery per year, it means if we have uh, 39 people blind all over the world, do you believe 500 is a big impact? Dr. Strauss said, no, we know we are doing good, the number is it's fine, but it's not good enough. D, C minus, and this kind of stuff. Okay. So my work by myself, it doesn't have any impact. That's a few impact in the in, in my uh, around my city. But if you train doctors, I train uh, six, eight ophthalmologists per year for the last. 12 year. Remember 2008, I started as a real program, but before that I trained in, in an informal way. And these 480 surgeries, when I talk with them, they say, you know, when I go to mission trip, I can do between 50 to 100 cataract surgeries per week. See, most of you, they, when you have been in a mission trip, this is the time that you spend trying to, to in, in a specific area. It means if we do, if they do 50 to 100 cataract surgery, they are doing a year 400, 800 cataract surgery per year. Plus my 400, 500 is 1300 cataract surgery per year. It's an average number, it's not, it's not a big number. You know, when I've been in India, they, the surgeon do 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 in a year. They are amazing surgeons, but I say, well, it's okay. 5,000 is a, is a good number. <laughs> but, see, we are doing with all the people that we have trained in a year, hmm, 200 cataract surgery. But what happened if we add the last 10 years? We have to assume that those doctors do mission trip once a year. They are doing six to eight thousand cataract surgeries per year. Plus my four hundred and eighty, that is an impact. See? Now I can see and I can say, you know, I am a really good surgeon. I am like an Indian doctor through the other doctor that I train because we did together six to 8,000 cataracts. It's, and I believe we have an impact. Now we have an impact. And this is the idea to be a trainer. That is the idea to put in your mind today. When you train somebody, you can multiply your work. And you can help more people than by yourself. I remember when Dr. Straw was talking that we want to do everything, and that is true. But what is the biggest uh, issue for us? We are just an eye doctors. 
and um, uh, we need to learn how to get help for other people. You know, we are an NGO. We have a private side and a social side. And we have a lot of people working around us. It's just, I am the, the only eye doctor. And we train and we do surgery, we do our OP, we do retina surgery because nobody's doing retina surgery there. This is not the topic. But the idea is we can multiply the effect if we become trainer. That's the main idea. Now, I love my daughter. She's a um, market, she has a degree in market. And she did that uh, diagram for me and said, Diego, that this is the impact that you do at the year. But also, one of the main goals in our training is, if you come with me, you have to be capable to transfer the knowledge to local doctor. See? And this local doctor in the near future become an skillful surgeon. We are not doing 6,000 cataract surgery. Maybe 12, 15 cataract surgery. See how good I doctor I am. Can you believe that? See, you know, I feel like a superman <laughs> after this, uh, this uh, small presentation. Because we can reproduce. This is the idea to be a trainer. But also, you say, OK, you are a trainer. But it's complicated to be a trainer with this uh, skillful doctor and this kind of stuff. What do I have to do? to feel comfortable. I was talking with this beautiful lady, and his partner came with me a few years ago. And he said, Diego, your, uh, the experience with my college was really good. He was so happy. He learned why, how you can get that. I always say, doctors, you are maybe more skillful than I am. Doctor. You come to learn a new technique, be teachable. You need a positive language with them. Second, as the previous doctor said, the benefit, like Dr. Anderson said, I, he was doing a phaco surgery, and he had this, uh, this uh, uh, dialysis. He said, I would do six. What is the great advantage to learn a new technique? We have different approaches for the same problem. We, if we have a one, one problem, we are not stuck. We can move around and solve the problem. Remember, we are doctors, but we want to help people. And when we have different approaches, we can help in a better way all our patients. But one of, for me, the biggest and most important issues you have to personalize the way that you work with your uh, student. You know, I have a problem. When I do FACO, when I do MSIC, I always use my left hand. And I, and I start noticing that I have problem with some doctor when I try to teach how to use the left hand. Or when I start asking, why? How do you do, do your FACO? So in my mind, I suppose all the doctors use a secondary instrument to rotate the nucleus and do the fake or whatever. But I know they, they didn't do the, they don't use a secondary instrument. They use one hand. I have to change my mind. I did it my change. And now I adapt according to the personal skill of my student how to transfer the knowledge about MC. That is very important. You have to personalize for each doctor the, way, the best way to do a smooth, smooth process of training. But also, you say, OK, Diego, you are the most amazing doctor on the earth. Second, you are the best teacher. Somebody, when you see you, everybody is like a sick god. No, it's not true. But what is my benefit? Because remember, it's, it's a win-win. It's both sides. It's not just the one side. I gain two. What is my benefit when I become a trainer? Remember, I work with really skillful doctors. Let me share 
this uh, story. When I was in maybe 2001, <coughs> came a very young eye doctor from Houston. He was a second year resident. And I taught how to do cataract surgery. He was so happy, he we con continued in contact. Now, he's the man advisor in retina for CDC, and he's one of the attending in Emory in Atlanta. And he's my advisor too, for free. See? Also, I get some benefit when I train people because I have a really good friend. Also, I have in my mind different point of view, different way of thinking, different approaches, different scenarios, different helper for me. And I can help my people. Now I have a network, five, six retina doctor. They help me when I have a difficult cases. This is the best of the technology. You can take a picture and send whatever you want. Uh, also, I learned and I grew as a person, as a professional, and I be a better person and a better doctor. Also, every time when you teach, you acquire experience. If you repeat, repeat, and repeat, every single day, the same process, sooner or later, you will be the best doing that. And the last one, you become a better person. And this is the best part for me. See, just let me, this last week, the doctor on the right is Stuart Sonheimer. He is from Chicago. He loved to serve. He came with me in 2011, and he learned six. After that, he opened a clinic for poor in Salvador. It's a country next to us. He does 200 cataract surgery every, every time that he goes to Salvador. Now he has a network that three or four times a year, they come to do surgeries there. Also, every time when he needs a, a retro alimentation, he comes with us. But you can see, last, we did the surgery last week, see the face of the, of the expression. It's not gelling as uh, the people from Africa, but you can see they are so happy for that. But just for finishing my presentation, I think this is the most important. I think when you are blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. This is the goal for us today. Thank you very much.